Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to add Bluetooth to any Betaflight flight controller using the SpeedyB Bluetooth UART adapter. Now right here, it does show you a schematic of all the num inputs and outputs right here. We'll get back to it. It also says that it weighs 1.4 grams. We're going to double check that to see if that's true. And then the dimensions is 24 by 15 by 4.5 millimeters. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we get in the package. The SpeedyB Bluetooth adapter, a double-sided sticky tape, a five-pin wiring harness, some shrink wrap, and instructions. Let's go ahead and weigh all this. Okay, we got this zeroed out. Let's see the Bluetooth adapter. It comes in, whoa, exactly 1.3, so it's actually 0.1 milligrams off, plus the entire wiring harness. Total weight is 2.1 grams with the heat shrink, 2.4, and the double sided sticky tape. It comes out to be about 2.5 grams. Okay, let's take a closer look at the module. Right here we have the actual antenna band wrapped around the entire PC board. As you can see on the back it actually has some breakout pads where you can actually solder your wires straight to this if you just want to shed like maybe a half a gram and replace this entire connector right here. Probably maximum a half a gram you're saving. But anyway, back to this. The first one down, which is going to be your black, that is your ground. Next wire up is your red, which is 3.3 to 5 volts. Next one up is your yellow, and this will connect. This is your RX. This will connect to a spare UART, the TX on the flight controller. Remember, the white may say RX, but this goes to TX. Next one up is your TX, which is green. This will connect to your RX of the same free UART on your flight controller. And then the next one up, or the last one is white and this is a BLE switch. Let's go ahead and get this soldered up to a drone. Okay I got the SpeedyB Bluetooth adapter all soldered up onto my Omnibus F4 Nano V6 flight controller and it's installed inside of my Acrobrat. I have it right here. It's just double sided sticky tape on top of my Caddx Turtle. And I actually have it soldered up to UART 3, and I have the Bluetooth switch connected to the LED since my no, Acrobrat doesn't have any LEDs, or I'm not going to be using LEDs on it. I have it in, soldered up to LED. So all we got to do now is just move over to Betaflight and configure everything and resource remap the LED so that it will be the Bluetooth switch. So let's go on over to Betaflight and configure everything. Okay, so now we're just going to click on connect. Next we want to go to CLI. And then you want to type in resources. Or just resource. So right here I'm going to be using the LED strip which is B06, so let's take note of that. On your flight controller may vary, this number or this pinout should be different. Pretty much every flight controller is going to be different, so on in my example I'm going to be using the LED strip, but you could technically use even motor 5 or motor 6 output. But in my case we're going to use B06. The next thing you want to do is make sure that whatever resource you're going to be using for the Bluetooth switch, you, it doesn't match another um, port. So in this case, if you scroll down to all the resources that are on here, there's nothing else on B06. So we are going to resource LED strip to none and that frees up that resource next we want to type in set pin IO config 
equals one two nine comma one comma one comma one enter then you want to set pin IO box equals zero comma two fifty five comma two fifty five comma two fifty five enter resource and then in this case I was using the LED strip so we're going to do pin IO equals B zero six excuse me it's pin IO one is B zero six now that is set so save okay after you push save then reboot you want to reconnect you want to go to ports and then since I had it on UART 3 we're now going to change this to to change this to MSP and we're also going to change the baud rate down to 19200 save and reboot And that should be all done with the configuration. Now let's go ahead and test this out and connect it to our phone or our Android or Apple device. Okay, so now on your Apple or Android device, you want to go ahead and download the SpeedyB app from your Google Play Store or your Apple Store. And just go ahead and install it. And once you open it up, you should be welcome with this window right here. And let's put this off to the side, grab a LiPo and your drone. I also recommend that you turn on your transmitter for this because I believe that um, like after 3.3.3, .3, like if the throttle is engaged or the drone is armed, the Bluetooth device shuts itself off. So as long as it's disarmed and your throttle is low, it should be able to engage itself. But I'm currently running 3.5.1 if you zoom in you can't see that the light is engaged yet but since the throttle is at zero and it's disarmed all you gotta do now is on your is click the Bluetooth button and then right up here it should recognize the Bluetooth device and as you can see the blue light just turned on and as you can see now that it's connected you can see the drone moving around in real time as I move it off from, the, from below the, the phone. But you can also see the gyro, you can see the accelerometer, the barometer, GPS that I have installed on here. I mean, you can literally pretty much do it, almost everything that you could do on the laptop. If you like this video, go ahead and like and go ahead and hit subscribe down below. If you also have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment. And I'll see you in the next video.